The academic world doesn't want you to know this, but I'm going to tell you anyway. These AI and robotics research papers, they're deliberately making them difficult to read. Reading them feels like trying to decode the ancient scripts of a forgotten alien civilization. These papers aren't written for humans. They're written for cyborg professors living in Dimension 7 with 12 PhDs and no desire for friends. You've got PhDs writing like they're afraid someone might actually understand them. They're hiding simple ideas behind walls of jargon thicker than a Boston winter. You open the paper and bam, first sentence. We propose a novel spatial temporal convolution encoder decoder architecture optimized with gradient back propagated reinforcement asymmetry under stochastic constraints. I'm sorry, what did you say? Did I just read a research paper or get hit with a spell from Harry Potter? Finally, three cups of coffee, a dictionary, and a crisis of identity just to get through the abstract, we have a problem. Let's be real for a moment. You know what separates the winners from the losers in robotics? It's not just the technical brilliance, it's communication. Now don't get it twisted. I'm not saying the work isn't brilliant, it's genius, it's world changing. But why is it locked behind a wall of cryptic language and mathematical sorcery? It's like trying to learn Kung Fu from a monk who only speaks in riddles. The average robotics paper has 37 references, 12 equations, and enough acronyms to make the Pentagon blush. And you know what the worst part is? Some of y'all are out here flexing about how unreadable your paper is. Oh, only 0.01% will understand this. Nah, bro, that's not intelligence, that's arrogance. Ever try reading one of these papers on a plane? You look like a maniac. You're sweating. You're drawing diagrams on napkins. The flight attendant thinks that you're plotting a heist. It's not science, it's psychological warfare. Listen, I respect the intelligence. I respect the expertise. But what I don't respect is obscuring brilliant work behind impenetrable pose. You think Elon Musk talks about rocket science like he's writing a thesis? No, he breaks it down so everyone can understand the vision. Let's talk about the structure, introduction, method, experiment, results. But the actual meat of the paper, buried in page seven under a graph labeled figure 14B that looks like abstract art. Why are we doing this? You got the most exciting field in the world. Robots walking, talking, dancing, learning, flying, doing backflips and somehow made it feel like reading tax law in a foreign language. The robots are cool. The papers are dull. How does that happen? Einstein said it. If you can't explain it simply, you don't understand it well enough. And I'm looking at these robotics journals thinking, do you understand it all? The problem isn't just academic tradition, it's ego. It's researchers afraid that if they write clearly, someone might discover they're not as brilliant as they pretend to be. The truly confident don't hide behind jargon, they illuminate with clarity. You wanna know the common factor among the most successful roboticists I know? They can explain their work to their grandmother and to a technical conference. That's the mark of true mastery, versatility in communication. Some of you are nodding your heads right now because you've been there. You've opened that PDF, seen that wall of text and felt your soul leave your body. Three paragraphs in and you're contemplating a career change to underwater basket weaving. I get it, I get it. But here's the thing. And this is what separates the champions from the spectators. The winners don't run from complexity. They decode it, they master it. When you encounter a paper that makes no sense at all, that's not a wall, that's an opportunity. An opportunity to develop one of the most valuable skills in robotics, translation. Learn to translate academic speak into plain English, folks. That skill alone will put you in the top 5% of engineers. In a world where robotics is becoming mainstream, the engineers who can translate complex ideas into simple language will be invaluable. They'll be the ones leading teams, securing funding and changing the world. The future of robotics isn't just in the lab, it's in the boardroom, in classrooms, in living rooms. And if you can't explain your brilliant invention,
to the people who need to understand it, what is the point? What is the point of building an incredible robot if nobody understands how to use it? What's the point of a groundbreaking algorithm if only five people in the world know about it? So here's my challenge to you, my friend, the next generation of robotics engineers. Read those difficult papers, struggle through them, master them, but then do what those authors couldn't explain the concepts clearly. If you can explain your robot to a five-year-old, that's power. If you can make your research go viral on TikTok and still pass peer review, that's mastery. You want to change the world, then stop writing like a gatekeeper and start speaking like a leader. Write papers that people actually want to read and create presentations that don't put your audience into a coma. Build robots that people understand how to use. And when you publish your research, remember that clarity is not the enemy of sophistication. The greatest impact comes from ideas that spread. And ideas don't spread when they're buried under academic rubble. They spread when they're expressed with passion, with clarity, with purpose. So be technical, be brilliant, be innovative, but above all, be understood. Here's what y'all need to hear. If you're in robotics, your job is not just to build the future, it's to communicate the future. You can be the next Turing, the next Hinton, the next goat in the game. But if nobody understands what the hell that you're talking about, you're just a whisper in the void. Put it this way. If Tesla unveiled a humanoid robot and explained it using research paper language, the crowd would fall asleep before it raised its first mechanical finger. But when Elon gets up and says, this robot's going to fold your laundry and talk to your dog and cook your dinner, the Internet goes insane. That's not opinion. That's fact. And the next time someone tries to impress you with incomprehensible jargon, remember this. True expertise isn't about making simple ideas complex. It's about making complex ideas simple. Because science isn't reading a paper for eight hours and understanding nothing. Science is saying, aha, now I get it. And if that offends you, you probably needed to hear it the most. And that's how you change the world of robotics. And that's how you keep building. Automatic Addison.